came. The curtains are like satin and trimmed with floral earth, to earth tones. This all from Sister Claire as a birthday present from here. So that is what we are up to Canada as you sleep. Sharing time, there is so much that is rattling around my brain right now. So I will try to sort it out in, word, in words. Most important one is I miss you. You have mentioned about your past two husbands and the last one was being the most hurtful one of all. This I feel deep inside of me. So I will explain why. I was married when Joan's mother became pregnant. I chose this for so many, many wrong reasons such as it is the right thing to do if you get a woman pregnant, then you must marry here. It is your child. You will grow to love her even if you don't right now. Let's go back again. It's the right thing to do if you get a woman pregnant then you must marry here it is your child you will grow to love her even if you don't right now she can learn to be a good wife even if she doesn't want to someone needs to marry here and it should be you as you can see now I got married because everyone else thought it was a good idea how wrong I was in taking the advice of others, friends, family, etc. Esther, Joel's mother, ended up in the hospital because she was mentally unstable, very violent, and had bad depression and needed medicine to allow her to function normally. It was a very scary time for me. Some nights I had to lock and barricade the bedroom door to keep her away during mental fits of anger. In Canada, if a man raises a hand to a woman, he will be arrested and charged with an assault. So I was not in a very good situation. Joel was about 11 months old at this time. When he was three, he live with me all the time okay this is where I need to be very open and vulnerable with you this part is where the fear and pain is then the second time yes you are reading it right the second time I was married was to a woman named Tracy we had known each other just as friends for many years about 20 years as friends sorry she invited me to a housewarming party and we were very slowly starting to just spend time together over over about six to nine months we grow closer we ended up getting married about one year after we met at the party. Again, for the wrong reasons. She said that if I did not marry here, she would find someone who would.
story. So I was scared of being alone. So I married here. After about 18 months of marriage, she had spent all of my money, all of my inheritance, and to be very honest, I think I was of no use to her anymore. She has a very high paying job that requires her to travel all over the world. During these trips, she was sleeping with many men. I found out only after strange telephone calls from men and confronting her. Then she told me the truth and had the nerve to blame me for all of it. Look. She was sleeping with many men. from being rejected a second time by a woman or motherly figure. It has been a very long, hard, tough four years. Failure has been hurtful inside. At times, loneliness has been crushing and almost unbearable. For about 18 months, I just felt sorry for myself and sometimes blame myself for all of it. Thinking about what could I what I could have done different to prevent it. Well, I have learned the answer is nothing. It was a choice other made and did it and they did not care how much they hurt the ones who love them. So this is how I have gotten to her now and you. I have spent many years of dreaming of what the perfect woman for me would be like. Not the perfect woman, but just the one for me. In your letter I read today, you said some things that that's a part of me that I thought was dead. It was a part that had been asleep and dreaming of what I wanted and who I wanted it to be. So here are the lines. You cannot truly love unless you become vulnerable. My heart is still in my mouth after reading that. It is what I aspire to be and do for so long.
The second line was they have forgotten how to communicate and therefore nothing to pull on the heartstrings. My heart is now pouring through my eyes and all through my fingers as I write this letter to you. The woman that I love and trust with my most closest fears and pain. I have failed miserably at love because of my bad choices and weak spirit. My son has been hurt by these bad choices which I can never make up to him for. I am vulnerable and I have been hurt far deeper more than you can imagine. My life has been ruined. My son hurt. Sorry guys, that's why I'm sorry, that's why I do not want to Sometimes I do not want to remember the past But I just want to share the The love letter of Bob to me When he was about When he was uh, Being serious with me that time When he finally Decided to know more about me Every morning I can look in the mirror and see that there is a good person there that he just needs to be loved and help. That he will make better choices for all of the right reasons. That he has found the love that he has always sought in his most private of spaces inside the true love. Lord G, I think this all started to hit home. When I started to read and review all of the paperwork that we must do together, it scared me and made me stop to truly look inside and see what it was. It was the failures from the past coming to him to hunt me and control me. It scared me a lot to see them and to remember them. It brought out tears of such pain and sadness that I had kept hidden from everyone for so many years. It was like a poison sitting in my spirit, sopping and draining all of the goodness away. It was stealing any hope from me, very quietly and very silently. It was just not good to keep all of it inside and away from the light. So if nothing else happens, if nothing else happens between us, you have brought all of this out. So all I can see is a simple thank you, Matamis Mahli. So we are both now vulnerable. Each one of us can can now hurt the other if we choose to. We can continue to fail and make mistakes. We can remain as we are. Never risk anything again. We can risk no chance for love. We can risk no chance for happiness. We can risk no chance for good. Sorry. We can just give up and go back to hiding and being safe but alone. I do not want this for myself. I do not want this for Jewel. I do not want this for us. I do not want this for you, my love. I have lost all and gained nothing. I am here to choose in my heart and my soul to risk everything on you and you alone. Do you understand truly what it is pouring from my fingers, my heart, my tears, wanting to touch you softly, Bob? <laughs> 